What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Victorious. I, of course, am your host, Gene Dangus, and we are back with the Victorious squad. Couple good players in here, I won't lie. Michael Vick being one of them, and of course, Randy Moss, Doug Baldwin. We've made some changes over the course of this short series so far with that instead of using the upgrade points all at once on one select position now we have to upgrade every single position before we can advance to the next tier so if you're unfamiliar with the way the upgrade series works i would recommend watching the first couple of episodes but long and short it jumps up from silver to gold to low to mid tier to higher to elite etc and the team is pretty solid these, of course, are grandfathered in. People wanted me to take them down. I don't think I'm going to do that just because it doesn't make sense to the previous episodes. The defense is really, really poor, but we were really focusing on the offense because obviously Mike Vick gets us more points, which equals more upgrades, which means the team is going to be better in the long run. So even though the defense is terrible, I will say we've performed pretty well in head-to-head -head seasons. It really hasn't been too difficult to get these wins here. So if we go ahead and check out the season so far, we are currently undefeated at 3-0, only allowing five points over three games. So this team, despite having a terrible, terrible defense, is performing very well in defense. We'll see if we can continue that trend here today, going for another undefeated episode. But more importantly than that, I want some points with Michael Vick. Let's score some points. We got Ray Lewis, Jair Alexander, and Lamar Miller. A lot of nat cards there nothing too crazy we'll see if we can contain them the booty bandit you guys can't see his name but that's that's what it is all right let's put some points up on the board if you guys don't remember the scoring system uh it's pretty weird but you know it, it's on the overlay so just go ahead and watch that as we're gonna duck down to randy moss and spin the wrong way off to a great start i don't think this guy's terrible he just uh just got a sack and he's setting up what appears to be tampa 2 with a middle linebacker in a deep zone yeah so i mean he clearly knows what he's doing at least a little bit as Derek carrier is going to drop the ball a couple times that's just fantastic yeah so he's going to be uh moving his middle linebacker back in a deep zone every single time this is a style of defense that a lot of people run or at least they did last year because i haven't really played that many games head to head this year they did last year and uh so we got someone who at least knows what he's doing a little bit how is that so open? You gotta be kidding me, man. We got pressure and everything. Yeah, he's doing motions and stuff. I mean, he clearly knows what he's doing, at least a little bit. And, um... No one on my entire team can tackle anybody. That's a problem. That's a pretty big problem. Yeah, and he's gonna have an easy touchdown. He just walks in. So, uh, he, he does know what he's doing in-game. This is not just some scrub that we're playing, you know, like we have in the first couple episodes. He has a scheme offensively and defensively. I'm going to look to shut it down as he misses the extra point. And uh, I'm going to run cheesy plays if I can. And if I can get him to work, it's going to be more points. And that's what I'm all about. And he's going to cheese kick. Yeah, nice dude. It was sick. How do you like that? Fake screen wheel. Ever heard of it? <laughs> it takes so long to snap the ball. It really does. It takes so long. It just gives him so much time to set up whatever defense he wants to go with. Which I really don't like because I just want to snap the ball, you know? I'm going to scramble with Michael Vick. Go, Michael! I'll take that inside the 10. 13-yard pickup. Nice user. Keith Marshall. Touchdown! That's all I got to do is just run stuff across the middle and expose his user. That's going to be a point already. And we should be able to take the lead provided I can kick the field goal or the extra point. And it is 7-2-6. Hey, it keeps running that. That's going to get open over and over again. Okay, we got to really try to shut that down. It's going to be that, uh, that post every time is going to get open against my defense. That's got to be a pick. Come on, man. I didn't switch on because I didn't want to screw anything up. I need an animation. You got to go after the football. Oh, we're right there. Dude, can we please sack the quarterback? Nobody's on that, that side of the field. 
it doesn't really matter it's gonna be fourth and five he's gonna take his points i don't know why no one on my team can tackle well maybe because they're all sobers i guess but I, i'm getting screwed over we just try a deep post here if he's sitting in a cover too like he has been i mean this could get open over the top i'm just gonna check not really a check down to doug baldwin but throw it underneath over over the top and uh get the first down all right we're gonna go for it on fourth down here the problem that i've run into is that i tried to run fake screen wheel on that last play and he knew it he knew how to defend it so that was tough for me so that's open that's thrown too late that's my bad turnover on downs we're just gonna use her that all day finally i'm gonna keep setting pressure and hopefully we're gonna keep getting there He's going to go deep across the field. That can't be completed. Thank you. There it is. Wide open. I think I waited too long. Randy Moss going to catch it anyways. I'm going to get the timing right on that. Because when he goes to protect the sticks over there, I should be able to just throw uh, PA crossers in there. Because you're going to watch his safeties. If they move over like that, he's protecting the sticks. Or the sideline or whatever it is. And uh, Keith Marshall might have something up the middle here. And he does. Keith Marshall near the first down. He keeps doing this thing where he motions over and then snaps like that. So he's looking for uh, pretty much one of two things. And it's either the check down, the cross, or the wait for something to develop and then go deep across the field. He's going to go deep. He might have that over the top. He does. I, that's just so dumb. Tyreek Hill is just so fast. Uh, it's not dumb, but I mean like you get what I mean. It's it's dumb that I did everything right and uh, He just wins with speed, but that's why speed kills. That's why we need to get a better defense Dude no one can tackle Lamar Miller. It's unbelievable. He breaks a tackle every time I'm trying to pick him off quick. He's gonna see Tyree kill. Hopefully and he's gonna run the ball It's gonna be tackled Worst case scenario here, I think we're going to allow a field goal. Is he just playing for the field goal? <laughs> okay. I don't mind that at all. That's a win. That's only going to make it uh, still touchdown game. Touchdown puts me in the lead. And he barely sneaks that one through. 12-7. What an odd score. I get to kick off, though. That's bad. So we've pretty much boxed up his offense. He can't really do much against the silver team. So we're in a good spot in that position. The problem is I can't find stuff that's been working offensively. He's been he's been locking me up likewise. So, you know, good on him. It's going to have to be a lot of checkdowns probably. That's just what it's going to have to be. We got 100 yards though and a touchdown. So that's two points already for Michael Vick. If we could rush for 100 yards, that'd be cool. I just don't really see that happening. The play is just abuse the flats until he decides to cover it. I don't see a reason to do anything else. You're going to cover the flats, or I'm going to go there every single play. And where's your user going, buddy? It's more. It's Bowringer! Down at the one. Dude, I'm kind of feeling like a QB draw here. I don't want to call it right away. Might, like, do a manual one. Michael Vick, touchdown. It's another point. We'll count him up at the end. Provided this guy doesn't rage quit. That's the goal right now. Get him to rage quit. That's got to be a pick. Oh my god. Everybody's dropping it. Carson Wentz having a rough day. Dude, why is Kevin King stopped? It felt like he was locked in place until I switched on. Good pressure. Josh Sweat getting through with the sack. Love a sweaty sack. I'll try to fit it in. John Ross, let's go. Dangerous throw because any number of things could have gone terribly wrong there. But it was a great pass. Things didn't go terribly wrong. And we're moving the chains. There it is. There it is. Randy Moss sideline. Down at the one. I'm getting used to saying that. This is where I would be feeling a QB draw again. I can't hand it off to Keith Marshall because I need the points with Michael Vick. And we don't get much. Ooh, that's pressure. That's pressure. That's pressure. Michael Vick! 
What? He fumbled it and it went out of oh my god. It, it got kicked into the pylon. Oh my god, dude. Unlucky. He's going. That's got to be an interception. Oh, Lacoon. Come on, baby. Let's go. Get the ball back. In pretty good field positioning as well. So the fumble at the goal line doesn't really hurt us too bad. And this is going to be a rage quit. Michael Vick had 200 yards passing. So that's two points. He also had a passing touchdown and a rushing touchdown. So that's two points as well. And we get the win plus a point for the rage quit. So what is that? Two points for 200 yards. He didn't get 100 yards rushing. It's two points for the touchdowns. So that's four. Two points for the win. That's six. Plus another point for the rage quit. That's seven. Seven points to spend here before we call it an episode. That is pretty damn good. Close game. Uh, decent opponent. But luckily we were able to neutralize him with our defense. Which I think it's probably about time to upgrade. It's my good buddy, K. What's up, K? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the team. I would like to upgrade tight end as well. Tight end, Derek Carrier is just bad. The wide receivers, I don't really have an issue with. But defensively, we are just disastrous. I don't really mind Natrell Jamerson, but he could be better. We could upgrade really anybody out here. Uh, I'd maybe like a faster right end. So when I'm sending heat, it gets in faster. So with... The first of our upgrade points, I am going to be going to the Browns and picking up Denzel Ward. Fast corner, 88 speed, 76 man. Based on the 4-6 style defense that I run, I think he probably would be a really good fit at free safety as I man up my free safety quite a bit. Uh, so I don't mind that pickup one bit. Obviously, that's why we went out and got him. And now we're just looking for uh, maybe another cornerback because Kevin King, hmm, he's not all that good. But again, I need another cornerback because... Uh, we don't have anybody other than Kevin King, and Denzel Ward is probably going to play free safety. Big physical corner. It's exactly what Chidobe Awuzie is. Or I, I usually call him Chidobe Awuzie, which I probably stick to doing. He is going to be another upgrade, so we are down to five upgrade points. But we've upgraded the secondary, I think, quite a bit with just these two players. Strong safety. Not super important to me, but uh, we might look to upgrade that as well. Next upgrade is going to be at one of my linebacker spots, and that is going to be picking up Roquan Smith. 79 overall middle linebacker. Might play him at right outside linebacker due to that speed. If he's blitzing, he's going to be getting after the quarterback with insane speed. Great pursuit as well. So thinking that he might be a good upgrade. We have four remaining. At strong safety, I'm bringing in Buda Baker. Only 5'10", but he's fast and he has decent hit power. I think he's going to fit the scheme pretty well. But left outside linebacker slash left end, I'm going to be playing Hassan Redick. Going to cost me 2,600 coins here, but he has everything I'm looking for. Good speed, good versatility, and that's really what I want. 81 speed, but 79 finesse moves, 70 block shed. Also has decent catching at a 71, and uh, he has decent coverage as well. As you can see, 57 and 54, basically a defensive end. Isn't terrible. I know it sounds like it is. It really is not. It's, it's not terrible, but we're going to be playing him at left end, so it's not going to matter as much anyway. So we've used five upgrade points so far. Jadobi Woozy's one. Hassan Reddick is two. Buda Baker is three. Roquan Smith is four. And Denzel Ward is five. Still maybe looking for a tight end to help this offense cook a little bit better. And then uh, maybe another linebacker. Defensive tackle, maybe. So at my last two upgrade positions, I am going to be upgrading the defensive line. We're going to go with Frank Clark. Looks like he'd be really, really good for what I need. And that is a defensive end with high power moves and decent speed. He's actually a left end. So 2,800 coins is not too bad. 76 speed, 81 power moves. He's coming off the edge in a lot of my system. So he should be working out very, very well. That speed and that power move should be a lethal combination. And last but not least, I'm pretty sure I counted right. I'm not really a math guy. I'm going with Jordan Phillips. You got to wonder why. I can go 75 to 79 here if I wanted to. But I'm going with Jordan Phillips. He has terrible speed, but he has 81 power moves. 81 strength. He's huge. I think that's going to work out really, really well. I think he's going to be a super underrated card for our team. I believe those are the seven upgrades if I counted correctly and had the seven points. Again, 
I'm not really a numbers guy, but I, I think that's going to be our upgrades. And we're going to slide Jordan Phillips in, go into the entire depth chart. I want to make sure my specialists are all in the correct spots because Frank Clark probably shouldn't be playing both rush right end and rush left end. I'll probably sub in Hassan Redick here because that's what I want to have out there. So it'll be a 75 overall at that specific spot. Right end is fine. Left end is fine. Wait, hold on. Why would this be flipped? Why am I? Why would I look at it that way? Why would left end be on this side? That's annoying. All right, there we go. Frank Clark is going to play rush right end, which is on the left side for whatever reason. It's just a little bit annoying to look at. And I think this this is the dream team right here. 75 overall. The defense is much improved as we have our golds out there. All we need to upgrade now is Foyasade Olakun. Leon Jacobs doesn't really matter. Kendall Donerson, Brandon Wilson, and Derek Carrier, Jamil Demby, and John Ross. And I guess the fallback too, Christopher Herndon. And we will be able to upgrade to uh, the next tier, which is Elite 80-84. So look out for that. Should be fun. That's going to be in the next episode, however, depending on how well we do. That's going to do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.